Hey everybody, it's Peyton. We're out here in the shop with Larry for Tech Tip Tuesday. And today we are gonna learn how to change out a pigtail on a light. So before you start, you're gonna need to get some tools. You're gonna need some wire strippers, you're gonna need a torch, and you're gonna need some wire crimps. You may also need a flathead screwdriver and a drill, depending on what kind of light you have. Because we have, the standard lights have just a rubber grommet. You can pop them out with a screwdriver. Some lights have screws holding them in and other lights have rivets. Okay. So before you can get to the pigtail, you're gonna to have to remove your light. Once you remove the light, the pigtail will be plugged into the back of the light. So what you're gonna to need to do is take your wire cutters and you're gonna cut each wire to free the pigtail from the light. So before you get started putting your new pigtail together, there's a couple of things you're gonna to wanna to look for. So when you pull the wires out, the wire color on your, on your trailer side may not match the colors on your new pigtail. So if you look on the back of your light, you'll see they're labeled. It'll be ground, marker, stop and turn. So when you do that, you'll just have to follow the wires from the pin and the plug to make sure that they're lined up accordingly. Now that you know your wires and how they go, the next thing you're gonna do is get your wire strippers and you're gonna strip each wire. Make sure you don't take more than a quarter inch. And what you'll do is you'll take your blue or yellow or red butt connector, depending on the wire size, and you'll slide it over the wire until it stops because there's a tab inside. Next, you'll take your wire crimpers and you'll firmly crimp the center piece of the butt connector tightly around the exposed wire. Once you have all three of them crimped, the next thing you're gonna do is grab your torch, a small torch, you don't want anything too big, and what you'll do is you'll turn the torch on and then you'll just run the torch over each end of the butt connector until it, shrink, until it shrinks around the wire. Now that you're all hooked up, the next thing you can do is put your light back into place. If you have just a regular style grommet light that's held in with a rubber grommet, all you have to do is tuck the wires back in and push the light in until it sits firmly inside the grommet. If, if you have a regular screw-in style, the next thing you'll do is just replace the screws and tighten them back up. Just make sure you don't pinch the wires between the light and the bracket. The other style, if you have the rivets, make sure the old rivets are completely drilled out and then reinstall the new rivets. And there you go. It's just that easy. I'm Larry Anders. Join me next week for another Tech Tip Tuesday.